my name's Ness, um, Vanessa is my proper name I guess, and I'm a cellist from London. Hi, my name is Bogdan uh, and I'm playing the violin. Calais Sessions um, is a direct um, response to the refugee crisis in Syria and we wanted to show our solidarity and our a sign of support to refugees and the closest way we thought was to go to Calais. Um, originally we wanted to go and distribute goods and material needs that um, was really important and some of us did that already and then we thought well we're musicians and we want to do a musical response to it basically. <laughs> Um, well, when we got there, it was, was about 10 days of actually trying to make it work. So it was a lot of preparation um, involved in meeting the right people, talking to people. Did people want musicians sort of hanging around there? There's obviously a lot of issues, a lot of problems there. What good could music do and these kind of issues. Um, but when we got there, it was pretty immediate that people just wanted to play music and, I, and the point of the Calais Sessions is to facilitate other people playing music. It wasn't us going there to, to play music to them. It was to try and bring musicians out there and instruments so that they could, they could play themselves. Um, so we had two Syrian musicians, one Ney player, one Oud player, and we had Bogdan here who's in, in London obviously, but... Yeah, I'm from Romania originally, so I, um, I, I thought it's a great thing, you know, like, because I can... Well, I can't relate to a refugee, but I'm a migrant, you know, so, and I, and I had my share of uh, hate or whatever. I mean, I felt from somehow at some point, you know, in that circle, including in that circle of uh, a group that was a lot of hate uh, aimed at. So uh, I thought... Yeah, I man, it's it's a good it's a good thing. Let's let's try the best we can to help. Yeah, I think what what we all felt was that um, refugees and migrants were getting really bad press. Basically, I think it was a situation which was escalating, um, and that we want to do something to say, well, well, for ourselves also to find out who is actually in in the camp and if they had messages and give them a voice to say what they want to say to the world, um, and see. Um, their messages really and I think you know addressing um, who a refugee is is a really important um, important thing and it was a very simple answer was that they're exactly like us you know mm. families educated jobs you know just normal life you know I don't know what people you know who people think they are but um, perceptions I think can also need to be challenged at all times Yeah, I mean, immediately we had we had a tour around the camp by one of the volunteers volunteers there, and then we kind of landed in the Syrian um, community, yeah, if you like. Camp, yeah. And at that point, we had obviously had our instruments there, so people were sort of already thinking, uh, "Who are these guys? What are they what are they up to?" So we just sort of started talking to people, saying hi, and then really quickly, um, a couple of guys said, "Oh, you've got to meet you've got to meet this guy, you've got to meet this singer. He he sings to us all the time. He's fantastic." go and meet him. And at this time, it was probably about half ten in the morning, wasn't it? So it's quite quite early for them, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but within 20 minutes, Mohadin, the singer, had sort of um, come up and sort of got his voice ready. And it was really quick um, at that point, and then he really wanted to sing. Yeah. Mm. And then his mate Ishmael, who plays the Darbuka drums, yeah. joined in. And within, like, probably an hour and a half or something like that, they were jamming together. Mohadin was teaching Lue and Roska, the guys, from London, uh, a song that they that he'd already written, things like that. So it was it was brilliant. <laughs> if we'd had any doubts that within that yeah. within that hour, it was like, okay, so that's the project. You know? The main focus then became with Mohadin and Ish Ishmael, really, with this with this band and trying to get a track that we could then record because we then we brought. We brought a lot of sound equipment through and 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 an and engineer, excuse me, and then we obviously we needed to find a place to record it. But that was a huge um, bonus that we found these guys already, and we knew that there was going to be a track 
at the end of the day with that one. So that was already there, fantastic. And then we wanted to try and explore the other side of the camp, the other energy, the other vibe, which is very sort of African and really young, energetic um, guys out there. So we, we then on, a sat on the, the same day in the evening, we set up this mass drumming workshop, circle, <laughs> event, whatever you call it, just mental, sort of eight o'clock and it was dark, obviously, there was, there's no lights, there's no electricity there. And we thought, okay, we'd see a different side of it, see if there were any drummers there, which there were, lots of, lots of drummers, lots of people who, who couldn't play at all, just wanted to have a go, but then other people who were, you know, competent oh, yeah. in some... It was a proper drumming session. Yeah, it was a on. proper, <laughs> full-on sound. Okay, so now we're back in London, we've got the music and what we've been doing is working on getting two tracks out so that we are releasing them on iTunes so that people can buy them and all that money then will be um, sent to organisations who are working in refugee camps around the world. Uh, I think a, a massive thing about the project is that it's less of an emphasis on charity if you like, you know, it's their music that they recorded mm -hmm. and now people are paying for that music and that can go directly back to help those, those guys in the camp. The idea is um, empathy. It, it's a simple word, empathy. Uh, what, what we did here is uh, something completely selfless. We, we, we don't want anything out of it apart from helping other people. And that's the message is as simple as that. Try and help and you will see that good things uh, will come out of it. Okay, so what we need now you guys to do is obviously buy the sessions. Um, you can find us on Facebook um, under The Calais Sessions and we have a website again, thecalaisessions.com and get behind it. Well, there'll be a release date on the Facebook page that'll so tell you exactly what you need to do and get to the links there and then just spread the message out, spread those tracks to your mates fantastic, buy the Calais Sessions tracks, help these guys, they need all our, all our support.